Now is a hard time for many people across the world, and everybody has been affected in different ways. I've seen some cases of extreme hardship, but this has also led to a new sense of togetherness and community. This worldwide lockdown has given us lots of time to think, not just about ourselves, but about other people in need as well. It's led to some inspiring acts of kindness, but in this turbulent time, it can be hard to think about how a small gesture can make a big difference in someone's life. In this video, I'm gonna cover some small but significant ways that you can help others around you. I just want you to think outside the box and hopefully inspire you to think of your own ideas. And I've probably missed a load of ideas as well. So if you've got some suggestions, then please leave them in the comments below. And hopefully we can spread some random acts of kindness. Together, we can make a big difference in lots of small ways. One of the most obvious ways is think about becoming a volunteer. In the UK, the government asked for people to volunteer to help deliver medical supplies and a whole host of other things to take some strain off the NHS. In the first 24 hours, a whopping 500,000 people signed up to be volunteers. All over the country, both kitchens and Goodwill are being mobilised. Jackie's chicken soup was the first replenishment for staff on a COVID ward locally. You know, to get a hot meal means so much. Here in China, there's lots of local volunteers on the streets checking temperatures and helping the elderly. I doubt these are isolated cases, so I'm sure wherever you are in the world, you can make the most of this free time by volunteering. Do your neighbor shopping. If you know a vulnerable person that is self-isolating or unable to leave the house, then ask if they need some help with their groceries. As part of your weekly shop, you could buy a few extra items and drop them off at their house. This is a little effort on your part, but this could mean the world to them. It means one less person go to the supermarket, therefore helping to flatten the curve. Donate to a food bank. Even if you and your neighbors are doing okay, there might be plenty of people in your town or across your city that are struggling to make ends meet. Hundreds of cards lining up for the Greater Pittsburgh Food Bank before it opened yesterday. Think about donating your excess food to a food bank to try and help them out. I've left some links below to point you in the right direction. Help out an unemployed friend. If you know someone that's just lost their job, then they could be struggling right now. So think about ordering them an online food order or helping them to pay some of their bills. They might not be able to pay you back right now, but you know that in the future, they will definitely have your back. Offer your company. Support doesn't just come in financial forms. Do you know somebody who lives on their own or an elderly person from your street? Well, give them a call and see how they're doing. You might be the only person that they've spoken to that day, so they'll really appreciate it. This virus isn't just affecting people physically, but also mentally. Write a letter. You can even help people who live further afield. Everyone loves to receive post. You can write a letter to an anxious friend just to let them know that you're thinking about them. If letters aren't your thing, then think about writing an email or messaging them on social media. Enjoy your virtual date. Don't forget to keep yourself from becoming lonely as well. If you can't invite your friends or neighbors around for dinner, then think about making some dinner and leaving it on their doorstep or buying your friends some beers and sending it to the house so then you can enjoy a virtual drink together. I'm happy that I can share it with you and you're enjoying it. Foster an animal. Another great way to give yourself some company is to foster an animal from a local shelter. There are lots of animals that need a home right now. So if you're working from home, this is the perfect time to foster. It's great company and also it helps you stick to a routine. Hello. Donate a dollar. Even if you can't help a charity physically right now, human or otherwise, then think about making a donation. There are lots of charities that are struggling to stay afloat. If everyone donates a dollar, then that's a lot of money that they'll get. 
Don't feel bad though if you've got nothing to give. This is a really tough time for lots of people. Help small businesses. It's not just charities that need your help right now. Many small businesses have had to close or adapt to the situation. So try and help them out as much as you can. This can take many different forms, like ordering a takeaway or just leaving them a review. You could even send them a DM to ask how you can help. Order a gift. If it's someone's birthday that you know and you're unable to spend it with them, or someone else that just needs cheering up, then think about ordering them a gift, like some flowers, or even better, something from a local independent shop. This way, it will help two people at once. Shop local. You can pick up your groceries from a local independent shop. Right now, the local economy needs as much help as possible. Show your appreciation. If you do go out, then treat workers with respect and thank them for working at this time. This can make someone's day to know that their hard work and sacrifice is very much appreciated. Show your virtual appreciation. Even if you don't go out, you can still show your appreciation. Give them a like, drop them a comment, share a post of theirs, or even buy a gift card that you can use at a later date. Support a freelancer. Besides physical businesses, there are lots of freelancers and content creators that work online all the time and rely on client work, which has probably just fizzled out overnight. Even something as small as swiping up on an Instagram story can make a real difference to them. Also, if you run a business and you've had to move everything online, then why not consider hiring a local freelancer to help you make some amazing marketing material? Buy a product. If you're an aspiring creator, then now is the time to hone your skills. Many photographers, Instagrammers, YouTubers have courses out there that you can buy or different preset packs so that you can improve your editing. Now is the time to buy that course and improve your skills. I bought a couple of courses from Udemy. Udemy? I don't know how you say it because they had a heavily discounted rate on their courses. So I thought I'd buy a few to try and improve my video skills, my public speaking skills, and so on. Also, I bought a course last year from Helene in between, an Instagram course, and it was great when I first started it. And now I've kind of got a bit stale on Instagram. So I'm gonna revisit this course and try and improve my Instagram game. Utilize blogs. There's a ton of content out there for you to use free of charge. It might be a recipe or it might be how to start planning that trip that you're gonna take for when this is all over. If you've been using someone's blog and you found it really helpful, then think about clicking on an affiliate link or signing up to their newsletter, sharing it with a friend, or even just commenting and letting them know that you've been finding it really helpful. Show a creator some love. Many YouTubers, such as myself, are trying to use this time to pump out as much content as possible for you to enjoy in the comfort of your home. There are lots of travel channels who are probably taking a big hit right now because you can't travel, so people aren't watching these videos. So help out your favorite creators by binge watching all of their videos and leave a nice comment here and there. You don't know how much a nice comment means to us. It really spurs us on to keep creating content for you. So on that note, leave me a comment below with your tips and any good examples that you've witnessed at this time. I hope you liked this video, so if you did, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more China-related content. Wherever you are in the world, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.